Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. No, it's not. It is Friday, February 3rd. <laughs> <laughs> we are in San Antonio, and I have my cardio gang with me. Come say hi, guys. Woo! Hello. Randy, Good Emily, morning. Noel is there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And we are in an Uber on our way to Gold's. It is eight o'clock in the morning and we are headed to get in some cardio. The other half of the crew is the non-cardio crew, but that's okay because they're just focused on their gains and that's fine. What a huge group of girls in the kitchen at the same time trying to make their breakfast. <laughs> just got back from cardio and about to make some breakfast. I'm gonna do my usual cream of rice, egg whites, almond butter. Staying in Paris to get away from your parents, and I thought, wow, if I could take this in a shot right now, I don't think that we could work this out. Out on a terrace, I don't know what's fair, but I thought, how could I let you fall by yourself? Well, I'm wasted with someone else. Here we go now, we go down together. They'll say you could do anything. Thank you. So pretty, right? All those seven are having an aesthetic. Wow, that is so much volume. How many yeah. cards is that? 25? Wow. 25? That's it? Uh -huh. yeah. That's egg whites cooked into it, you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh I want to watch you do that. It's on my YouTube channel and like every vlog. <laughs> it's it's on my YouTube. Maybe we should pick up her channel <laughs> and just like watch <laughs> it at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited about it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Can I make that with you tomorrow for my breakfast, Karen? The girls are all amazed by oh, yeah. how much volume I get in my cream of rice here. I have cinnamon and almond butter in it. The trick is just cooking your egg whites into the cream of rice. I showed you guys this in also, you many, many vlogs. She's like, my friends like, suck and they didn't watch. Yeah, yeah, you I have a very have serious relationship yeah. with my cream of rice. <laughs> <laughs> Finished product. What's up, guys? We are at main event which is like a big arcade we're gonna play laser tag bowl play some games whoever's on my team is gonna win that obviously is gonna obviously. Be. obviously me and emily <laughs> versus y'all <laughs> One or the other. That's what I just said. What do we, we, got Ooh. Two, we got three sweet and three salty at the table. Comment below what would you be sweet or salty, one or the other, for the rest of your life? This is like my dream salad. <laughs> it's chicken, what is it? Uh, candy pecans, strawberries, feta cheese, avocado. Oh. This is like mango poppy seed or something. Ooh. That looks so good. Is it good? Yeah. Noel, what'd you get? Show us what you got. Chicken Real chicken tacos. Real chicken tacos. With a peño. <laughs> That's a big old peño. <laughs> we just cashed in our points and I got cute little candy heart bracelet. 
bracelets for the girls that stayed back today. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday the 4th, and it is the day of the meetup. A few of us just got back from cardio. I just got done lifting. It is my high carb day, which means no cardio. So I just crushed shoulders, and I'm feeling really good. And now I'm gonna have some breakfast. just got back to Heidi's from the meetup. It was absolutely so amazing. I don't even have enough words to express my gratitude and how full and happy my heart feels right now. Meeting all of you guys, hugging you, hearing your stories and how far some of you guys drove to get there, to see us, to meet us is just mind-blowing and I am filled with just so much happiness and so much gratitude and feel so blessed to have met and talked to so many of you guys. I'm gonna sit down and read your cards. Cannot wait to use these bath bombs. Super cute keychain to add to my little keychain collection. And I'm just going to embrace and enjoy reading all of your kind words and just reflect on this incredible day. My heart is just filled with so much happiness and joy and gratitude and I honestly just can't I'm like shaking because today was so amazing I want to do it all over again <laughs> us girls were actually talking about perhaps making this kind of a thing where we go to each other's cities and different cities and 
um, do meetups in different places. So if that's something that you guys would be interested in that you would like us to do, uh, comment below and let us know. I'm thinking definitely Chicago because that's my hometown and I definitely want to bring all these girls to come see where I'm from and see my city and I think there's some of you that are from the Midwest as well and maybe from Chicago so that's like number one on my list for sure but like I said, if that's something that you guys would be interested in us doing multiple more of these meetups as a group of the nine of us, 10 of us, um, comment below, let me know. Ah, I'm starving and it's been a crazy long, amazing, exciting day and I've got lots of carbs left to get in because it's my high carb day, woo! Uh, so I'm gonna go read these notes and get in a meal. Thank you guys so much. I love you all so, 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 so much. So for those of you that commented on my sneakers today, it's hard to see in this lighting, but they are rose gold Nike wedge sneakers. And I actually got them on eBay. And the leggings are from Lululemon. The top is a little cropped sweater which is Noelle's. But girls and I just got back from church and I hear it's like some important game day today. I think like some kind of football something. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Super Bowl Sunday. Like the Olympics, but. Um, but I'm going to get in a meal. This is half chicken, half tilapia, just cause I don't like to waste food. And I just threw what I had left together uh, with some asparagus and I'm in the mood for some rice cakes. So I'm gonna do rice cakes for my carbs right now and this will be my pre-workout meal. So you're having two? Do you think I could have a rice cake maybe? Of course. Like yeah. Yes. Yeah, I could pay you back cause it was really close. <laughs> no, I ate a bite of your tilapia last night so I owe you. Yes. <laughs> Girls in prep. <laughs> Our combo. Finally on our way to the gym and we've made a quick stop at Heidi's warehouse. We're in the Buff Bunny warehouse. How cute, I'm gonna show you guys. Randy's got one of the tops on. Randy model for us. So cute. That is freaking adorable. So cute. It's like some of the jackets. This is the top that I grabbed. How cute is the back of this jacket? Oh, I die. This is so cute. Oh, good job, Heidi. Yay. So proud of you. We're so proud of you, Heidi. Everything is so cute. This is what I'm gonna buy. Two pairs of leggings, uh, two of the new crops, two racer back tanks, and one long sleeve crop. I will try them all on and model my new Buff Bunny collection for y'all. Today's workout was just a short touch-up arm day. It was supposed to be a rest day, but I was feeling really good, so I just decided to touch up biceps and triceps, and then I had to do a 450 calorie burn of cardio, and that's what I really wanted to focus most of my energy on, which is why I didn't go too hard with my lift, and I focused mostly on getting in my 450 calorie burn cardio post lift. For my 450 calorie burn, I did 25 minutes of hit interval on the Stairmaster where I was climbing at level 8 for 2 minutes and then sprinting up the stairs at level 20 for 1 minute and then back down to level 8 for 2 minutes, so on and so forth. Repeat. I did that for a duration of 25 minutes and then I ended with 20 minutes of steady state. So my total cardio was about 45 minutes in order to achieve that 450 calorie burn. I use a heart rate monitor to calculate my caloric burn rather than the monitors on the machines. Those are not always accurate. So if your goal is caloric burn over time, I suggest that you use a heart rate monitor and calculate your overall caloric burn using your average heart rate while doing your cardio.
What do you do when you are not feeling motivated? Yes, so I actually thought of two tips. Um, one of them that I personally do when I'm not fully motivated and I like just I just can't find it in myself today as we all have those days. So one thing I'll do, um, especially while I'm doing cardio and I just don't want to be doing cardio, is I'll actually look up motivational um, videos on YouTube like where people are talking and they're just like, you have to go through it to get where you want to be and stuff like that. That stuff really gets me going so that's a way to stay motivated or get back into the groove of feeling motivated again. And then another thing is um, remembering like what you're working towards and why you're there in the first place. And also another thing that has helped me is really thinking logically um, and knowing that that feeling is, it's its a mental game and it's, and it's all temporary and um, you just have to get through it. And so remembering that for me really helps me get back into the groove of feeling motivated or looking up those videos to spark my motivation again. Hey Heidi, give us your best tip for motivation. When I'm feeling unmotivated, I don't feel like working out. A lot of times like, I like to think about like why I'm into fitness and like why I got started with everything. And a big reason is that is because I gained quite a bit of weight at one point in my life and um, I was just very, you know, like low energy and just very like just unhealthy like all around. It wasn't just like the weight gain um, that I was uncomfortable with, it was just like overall health. And so my reason that I like, keep going and keep pushing is like really just like respecting my body as a whole. So, you know, training and eating healthy is more to me than just trying to like look good, you know, in clothes. It's, for me, it's about like respecting my body and just overall being healthy. So, you know, when you are eating healthier food and when you're training, you know, you're gonna have healthier hair and healthier skin and healthier nails and, um, you know, higher energy. And like if I'm feeling really unmotivated, I just, just low energy, like, I don't wanna work out today. I'll take a scoop of pre-workout and watch some YouTube videos. That also helps. So really just um, like digging deep and like remembering like why you started and all that really helps. Any choreo. Well, we all go through those times where we just aren't feeling motivated, as do I. And when I seem to be going through a time like that, I usually take a day off from the gym and do something like that I would never normally do. I live in San Diego, so that might be going to the beach because I don't get to the beach a lot. Doing something out of my ordinary to kind of just step back and enjoy life, something that would distract me and keep me like, being like, wow, okay, this is really fun. And then usually if I do that, I'll be like, okay, I want to get back to my routine, so it's time to go to the gym now. And I'll get re-motivated. So maybe try something like that next time you're feeling unmotivated. What's going on guys, Amanda here. My tip for staying motivated is I personally like to look back at my old photos. So if there's some, like I find motivation within myself. I don't try to find motivation to like look like somebody else or I used to before I started getting into fitness I would find other people that I wanted to look like but now that I've had a few cut and bulk cycles I find my old photos to be motivation for myself but it's really important to just try to be the best version of you and then not necessarily like you can pull motivation and inspiration from other people but you should always look back on your like just trying to be better than what you are right now or what you have been in the past just be like like always be grateful for where you are but always you can always still want to progress and get better after that so that's like where I find intrinsic motivation my best tip for motivation or when you're feeling unmotivated I kind of go like a few different ways it depends sometimes I, I like to take a step back and remember why I'm doing something so if you're feeling unmotivated or like in a funk about working out, instead of thinking of like, oh, I have to go to the gym, I remember why do I wanna to go to the gym? Why do I wanna do this? You know, because I wanna inspire people, because I wanna be healthy, I wanna be able to enjoy life, all of these things that are really meaningful to me that sometimes we lose sight of in the day to day. And uh, really remind myself of that. Sometimes you need to give yourself just like a really good pep talk too. Like every now and then, you're just like in a funk and you're just being lazy, like you gotta just pull your shit together get up and go and sometimes you have to be a little easier on yourself. I like to look up people that inspire me and you know watch videos. I really like inspirational quotes. I love looking up inspirational quotes and you know putting them on my phone background or on my walls. Places that always keep me reminded of why I'm doing what I'm doing. What's up guys? Checking in back home in LA about to edit the next YouTube vlog for you guys and I am feeling good in this face mask. I hope that you guys enjoyed 
this vlog and all the little tips for motivation from some of my very best friends. If you like these kind of tips in my vlogs and want me to do more like this, comment below with some topics that you want to know about or some questions that you might have, tips you might want, strategies that you might want, and I will make that happen. I've got about three more minutes with this face mask on right now. It is just a clarifying sulfate mask by Murat, so I'm going to wash that off, finish editing this vlog so that I can get it all up for you guys for tomorrow morning. And I love y'all, I appreciate you guys watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up on your way out, subscribe to my channel if you have not, and take care of your skin. <laughs>